Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 20th through the 26th of August, 2023. Hope everybody's well. I am taking a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone out there. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop and that's not unusual in a general reading. As always, Cancer, don't try to force yourself into a reading. That is simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of cancer? Sign of cancer. All right, cancer, look at you coming out with the high priestess. Oh, no, it's the star. I don't know why I thought it was the high priestess for a second. Even, even so, it's a very powerful looking card here. We have the knight of wands and you have the page of wands. So you have some good news coming in. Something that uh, is going to come in very passionately, too. Something that's going to start small and grow. This could even be messages from spirit. This could speak to an ascension. Some of you guys might be ascending as far as um, energetically. And you might be getting messages from spirit. I can see you are very intuitive right now. I feel like you're extremely well balanced. You, you've done a really good job of balancing your masculine and your feminine energies. Your emotions look balanced. You've done a lot of healing, but either you're giving a very um, passionate message or you're waiting for one. It feels like you're waiting for one to come in. Um, and I do feel like a lot of you have like something of an ascension going on. I am seeing something in the fall for you, something that is going to be very important in the fall, some good news. So let's see who's in your energy. A lot of communication. So you might be talking to a lot of people right now. All right. In your energy, we have the chariot in reverse. We have the knight of cups in the reverse and the three of swords. So somebody's heartbroken over you. Somebody is literally heartbroken over you. You're healing from the situation and really balanced. So I do feel like this person has a lot of feelings towards you that they're holding back. They want to move in your direction, but they won't. And they're kind of making you out to be the bad guy here because you hurt them. And they they may be saying some things about you that's not quite true. Um, and they know it's not, but they're holding back. They're heartbroken. Let's see the energy between the two of you. I feel like you, you could, honestly, you don't even notice this. The death card in reverse. Yeah, there's unfinished business between the two of you. You may reach out to this person. Um, if you do, Cancer, please try not to be smug. I do see some of you being very smug and kind of, you know, sticking it to this person. Ah, the Hierophant in reverse. You felt trapped in a situation that was toxic, perhaps. Um, unsure of what which way to go. Yeah, you felt like this person might have been toxic or you could have had some toxic traits, but it's in you ended that. That's what's affecting the connection, but there's still emotional ties here. There's unfinished business. At the end of the week, there's going to be a decision made. Two of swords in the reverse. Wow. All right, so bottom of the deck is the queen of pentacles reversed. Now, that's my married or in a relationship, um, very loyal relationship card um in the reverse that means that there has been a breakup here it also might indicate for some of you to be careful with your money um there's an indication that you need to be squirreling away money here there's this uh possibly somebody out there that feels that somebody has been disloyal to them and there's also a need for self-care in the situation all right so Let's look at clarifying. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here for Cancer? All right, Four of Coins reversed. And there's the Queen of Pentacles reversed again. Yeah, you're letting somebody go. I feel like you're going to get some good news in the fall after you've released this person, after you've let this person go. There's, um, I am seeing financial, uh, there's going to be some issues with finances that should also get, you should get good news about that in the fall. You may have like a major expenditure for your home that could cost you something. 
Again, good news is coming in the fall. All right, there's the high priestess. I knew I felt her. We have the three of coins and we have the two of coins. So something is gonna happen here in the fall. Something you may not see coming yet, but you intuitively feel it. You're, it's gonna start small, it's gonna get bigger. There's going to be, like I see communication escalating. And I see you having to juggle more than one person for a moment. So some of you could be out dating multiple people. Um, if so, they don't know about each other. You kind of keep things on the down low. You're coming across as being very intuitive, keeping things to yourself, not really letting other people know your business. Um, you're balancing things out between your work life and your social life. I do see you out and about. But whatever this is that's coming in the fall, you're not sure about it or you, you're not, there's something you don't see coming here with this. It'll start small, it will escalate, the passion will escalate, and it's leading to a foundation. Yeah, it's definitely leading to a foundation and it's a building energy. It's building up, building up, building up. It'll happen after you fully let go of this person and you know, that's over here in your energy. All right, we have the Magician in reverse and we have the Chariot in reverse. So, they have the Chariot in reverse as well. So, what this is telling me is that you're healing from this that did not manifest with this person. This person kept you stuck and they may have intended to keep you stuck. So, you're trying to manifest the life that you want um, you're having difficulty manifesting it, but there's a lot of healing that's taking place. And as that occurs, things are going to balance out for you. It's already beginning to. It's it's only going to get better. Something big is coming in the fall. All right, so let's look at their energy. This person had you stuck for a while, and I feel like they intentionally did. They knew they had you stuck. Justice. Ten of Swords reversed. So this person is playing the victim. They want justice in the situation. They want to actually heal the situation with you. They feel stuck in your energy. Uh, the Chariot is sign of Cancer. But like I said, they're not viewing you in the best of light. They're blaming you. And some of you have listened to what they're saying and you're kind of questioning yourself over here. Don't question yourself. Your energy looks pretty good. This person is saying, you're the one. You're the reason why things ended so painfully. You're the reason I'm heartbroken. I want justice in this situation. You could be dealing with another Cancer sign or a Libra. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're holding back their feelings. We have the world in reverse and the Page of Cups. So this person could be entertaining someone else as well. But honestly, what they really want is, <laughs> is to connect with you. They're not over you. They want to renew this with you. They may be, some of you may get an apology from this person. Others of you are just going to hear from them. It's going to be something very small. They're going to kind of put out that olive branch to try to, you know, express themselves. They're expressing themselves at, here as a page, but they're holding back some of that emotion. It's like they don't trust themselves to not get deeply involved with you. So they're just gonna kind of tone it back. They're holding it back right now. They're gonna tone it back and just give just a little bit, just enough to say, hey, I, I'm still here. I'm still here, Cancer. And I feel like you're just gonna kind of keep things to yourself. Some of you are dating. You're, you're finding that balance in your life and you're feeling better. You're very intuitive. So it's like, you know, this person's going to reach out. Why is the three of swords here? Now, granted, for some of you, it could be this person that you are starting something new with. But for most of you, it looks like somebody brand new. But we'll see. I mean, only you know your situation. All right, we have the seven of coins reverse. And we have the nine of cut or of swords reverse. So this person, <laughs> they're pretending that they're not affected by this. So they're putting on a brave face. 
but they are definitely impatient to get over what has happened, to get over the heartbreak. They're literally heartbroken. They're trying not to show it. They're trying to act indifferent, like they just don't care that they're not investing in anything. But the truth couldn't be further from, or, or the facts couldn't be further from the truth. The truth is, is that they have had a lot of, you know, nights where they've been sitting up worrying and thinking. They're impatient to heal. They're impatient to, to move back into your energy but they won't let that be shown. It's like they're keeping that to themselves. They're playing the victim. Um, and they're saying they want justice in this situation. All right, so why is the death in reverse? Yeah, you don't trust this person. Ooh, some of them may have blocked you as well. Yeah, they may have blocked you from the social media accounts or you know stuff like that, or you may have blocked them. I do feel that you've been very hurt. You've been very hurt. You feel that there's been disloyalty here. You, a lot of you are letting this person go. Um, but you're expecting to hear from them. You don't trust them, though. You don't trust them. Part of you wants to work through the problems. But you feel like this person, in one form or another, is blocking you from, from working through things. Um, there's definitely unfinished business between the two of you. Six of Wands reversed, and there's the Emperor. Yeah, so for some of you, this could be some twin flame energy here. Um, you're you're feeling like this is an unsuccessful situation. You definitely are. You you feel like there was something toxic in this situation. It was unsuccessful. This person could have been juggling you, or you could have been juggling some this person and someone else. There's definitely been passion here. You're keeping everything to yourself right now. And because I feel like you you intuitively know that when whatever this news is that comes in the fall, you know that you want a firm foundation. You're, you're not taking anything less. You've done so much healing. You just are not taking anything else. Now, I can see that you likely ended this connection, but with cause. And... I feel like this person is now playing the victim. They are coming in correct, though. They're coming in correct. They've been holding back. And this person is going to take charge of the situation. And I, I am telling you that they want to come in correctly to heal this. They've been blocking their own feelings. And I feel like they're going to take charge of the situation. They're going to extend themselves to you emotionally in some manner after holding back for a long time. Uh, let's look at your outcome. There's been a decision that's been made here. What is this? Why is the Two of Swords in reverse? All right, Nine of Cups. Three of Wands reversed. The Hierophant and the Two of Cups reversed. Interesting. So a decision's been made about commitment. And a breakup. You're getting what you want here. And they're no longer waiting. Okay, so... Hmm... Let's pull one more on either side because that's your waiting. Let's one more card, please. One more card. <laughs> Got two. All right, so Queen of Swords. Hey, man. And the Ace of Cups. Okay. All right. So decisions are being made. Decisions about commitment. Decisions about this, um, the breakup here. And these decisions are causing you both to have higher boundaries. I feel like, I feel like Cancer, you may be cutting someone out. 
Again, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I see Pisces here, Taurus is here, Aries, um, Earth sign energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or another Cancer. So you're getting what you want in love here, but it's because you're healing. You're healing and you're healing from a situation that you were stuck in that didn't manifest. And you're bringing balance in. You're bringing balance in. There's an ascension energy. And I see a firm foundation coming in for you. Something committed in love. You are going to get what it is that you want. Now, in their energy, they have this heartbreak here. They're acting like they don't care. They're being non-committal, like nonchalant. They move out of that energy because there is an impatience here. But I feel like, I feel like uh, <laughs> you're going in another direction here and it's making them wait now. You were waiting before. Now they're waiting. And they don't want to wait. But you're cutting them out. You're ending this. So it might, it might go up and down a little bit between now and fall. Some of you are getting advice from somebody, somebody spiritual, or it could be somebody psychic. Um, regarding this, I feel like those of you receiving advice on this, you're going to be cutting this person out, but still open, like it's never completely finished here. You're still open to talking to them, but they're too busy acting like they don't care. Regardless, you're getting something here you want, a commitment that you, and you do want it. So some of you are going to come back together with this person, break up again, at which point then you're just cutting them out. You're putting in boundaries for sure, and that's what's bringing in what you want. Hmm. Others of you are committing to someone else, though. I see it so clearly. Regardless, you're getting what you want in love. You're committing to someone else, and you're cutting this person out. These are decisions in love that you're making. Decisions to have high boundaries, decisions to cut this person out, decisions to commit elsewhere. And that's the dominant energy that I'm getting. In their energy, I feel like they feel like they weren't chosen, like their future is not with you anymore, but they're still waiting. They're still waiting. They're still heartbroken, and they're still acting like they don't care. So this person basically is going to come back in after, you know, a breakup with you. They're going to try to bring this in, but now you've got options. Some of you are going to be juggling this person and someone else. Ultimately, you'll be going with the other person. Wow. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, it looks like the tables have turned here. Because I feel like this person had you waiting. They may have been juggling you. And now the tables are turning. And it's like they're having to experience what they put you through. Um, Knight of Pentacles is underlying energy. And it tells me that you are slowly moving forward. Into something very stable, no less. Alright, so... Yeah, I see the tables definitely turning here. Let's see what your oracle card says. You have Dragon's Lair, and it is 19. That comes up to 10, so you're at the end of a cycle. Now, this came up in the reverse, so we're going to read it in the reverse. It says, you are always protected and divinely directed. In the reverse, it says... Red flags should not be ignored. Don't be seduced into learning a lesson that will hurt your heart. Temptation and intrigue abound, but be careful because you can't win this particular challenge. Heed this gentle warning about wanting and longing and the fantasy of belonging to someone, something, or an identity that has no true substance or longevity. Ignore this alarm and you'll wander in circles near the edge of a dragon's lair. Choose another path for your treasures lie elsewhere. And you, my friend, are going to, it's your choice. 
you're now at that decision. You can commit or you can end it and cut them out. Either way, you're being guided to have boundaries. <laughs> this is That's an amazing reading, guys. I'm really... I mean, just don't ignore the red flags. You pay for them later. All right, guys, I hope this has been helpful to you. It's an amazing reading. I do th see that you have something really good coming in between now and fall. And so if you have resonated with this, hit that like button. And also, if you have not subscribed, I would be grateful if you do. Until I see you guys in your next weekly reading, namaste.